Shalom. Brothers and sisters. And welcome to another edition of Maccabees TV. This is an impromptu video. Just saw something very interesting. And so here I am being an amateur conspiracy theorist, but nevertheless being one. And just noticing something, and I said, hmm, I'll share it with my people, just because I find it interesting. It might be nothing to it, or it might be something to it. As this Israelite movement continues to grow and spread and propagate, um, we know, pursuant to Project Megiddo, and just in general, that there's going to be provocateurs and Manchurian candidates and other people that's going to come forward and do certain things in the name of being Hebrew Israelites in order to give the movement a bad name to make us all seem like we're all crazy, right? We're in the portion of Project Megiddo that is um, the smear campaign portion, of course. Okay, where they try to defame us. First, they try to debunk you. When that doesn't work, they try to defame you, right? So there was a woman uh, about a maybe a month, almost two months ago, that walked into the lion's cage at the Bronx Zoo. And um, word circulated that she was a Hebrew Israelite. Well, they finally identified the woman and they arrested her. And um, that was today. Today is November the 8th, 2019. And here is the New York Post for what date? Let's look, go down a little bit. You can see it right there on the left hand of your, right hand side of your screen. November 8th, 2019. So that's from today. And here's the caption for the post. It says, Bronx Zoo, Lion Queen, says she's a black Israelite during wild arraignment. How interesting. <laughs> Let's scroll down a little bit. Let's, let me play amateur conspiracy theorist. I just want you brothers and sisters to take a look at this young lady for a minute. Just for a minute. Just take a look at her just for a minute, shall we? Let's take a look at her for a second. Do you brothers and sisters see what I see? Do you see what I see? That's a song too. Do you see what I see? Ah, <laughs> uh, hmm, interesting. Oh, well, let me help you out. Maybe you don't see what I see. So I went to Google Images. Do you see it now? Do you see what I searched right here? Eastern star symbol. And this is the symbol the Eastern Stars, which is a Masonic order. How interesting. Let's go back to this image again. And what do you see that she's wearing prominently in this, in this image? You see it, and I see it. I don't know any Israelites that have any even rudimentary training that doesn't know that that is the symbol of the Eastern Stars. Oh, you may have some police fraternal organizations with similar symbols, but the color pattern and everything is an image from a Masonic organization called the Eastern Stars. That's pretty plain. Many, many people viewed this article online and bought the hard copy image of the paper today and didn't pick that up. But the Most High gave us eyes where we see everything. So she's an Israelite, prominently wearing the symbol of an Eastern star. And if you look at her left hand, she wants it to be caught on the camera. Y'all don't see that? Yeah, Dan, you're reading too much into it. But maybe, maybe. But she wanted that to be seen. Hmm, interesting. Manchurian candidates, you say? Somebody that's put out there to make the Israelites look bad, you say? Is this how Israelite women dress? Look at her. Is this how Israelite women dress? A NYPD uh, shirt underneath? A Eastern star sweater on top? Short dress with no fr short skirt with no fringes? Is this how Israelite women dress is what we do? Is how we do it? I don't think so. Her name is Myra Autry, 32, in the hallway of the Bronx Criminal Court after her arraignment. Let's read. Let's read. Let's read. Let's read. Let's read. Now look at this chick right here. Before we read, look at her. She posed for the camera and opened her 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 her, her, her uh, jacket and was, is showing you her NYPD 
shirt. That's what Israelites do. That's what we do. Really? <laughs> oh, man. This is in plain sight. He or she that hath an ear, let them hear the rest. You won't think that this. <laughs> anyway, let's read. The woman who climbed into the Bronx Zoo's lion's den shouted shalom and exclaimed her devotion to Jah and Jehovah in a wild arraignment in Bronx Criminal County, which is Bronx Criminal Court early Friday morning. Myra Orchie, 32, appeared in the courtroom wearing an NYPD t-shirt after being arrested on Thursday on criminal trespass in connection with the zoo incident. Autry repeatedly interrupted the judge, shouting, All praise go to Jah and Jehovah when her case was called. Right? The judge, her lawyer, and a friend all urged her to be quiet, but Autry refused, exclaiming a number of times that she is a black Israelite. Mm. Question. Just a question. Can you name me any Israelite camp, organization, Knesset, congregation, anybody that identifies themselves as black Israelites? Can you name one? Just, just one organization that says we are black Israelites, even individualites, people that are on their own. Who calls themselves black Israelites? The answer is nobody. Who calls us black Israelites? the fake, woke, conscious community and homosexual Christians like uh, 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 Vocab Malone and, and his ilk, the so-called Christian apologists, them devils. They call us black Israelites the same way that the people that follow Christ were called Christians. They didn't call themselves Christians. They didn't give themselves that name. They were called Christians at Antioch. We are called black Israelites, but we don't call ourselves that. But they said, let's go back and read it again. The judge, her lawyer, and a friend and a friend all urged her to be quiet, but Orchard refused, exclaiming a number of times that she is a black Israelite. This to me, I know y'all gonna leave y'all comments in the comment boards, but this to me, this uh, excuse me, this is F A F. Fake as y'all already know what I want to say, but YouTube is on some stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Autry was, um, shalom to you and all your family, she added. Autry was released on her own recognizance, then continued her rant to reporters outside the building. And while she was outside the building, she posed for the camera, all proud of her NYPD shirt. Because that's what black Israelites do. This is what we do, right? This is the stupidest, fakest, thing ever. Now, I don't know this shit. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? And this is a hell of a lot of camps in New York. And most of us know each other. So if anybody knows the system, maybe I'm just totally wrong. You can let me know. No problem. I'll, I'll come back and say I was wrong. But this just seems awful convenient and awful strange. And I, it just doesn't sit well with me. And um, the dead giveaway is the Eastern Star logo on her jacket. You know, and she's proudly showing it off to the people, proudly showing it off to the people. And I also find it interesting that while the reporters in the article we just read mentioned her NYPD shirt, they did not mention her jacket. I wonder why. I'm just saying. And then these dummies that call them self-conscious did a whole video on it today saying, oh, that it's the Bible. No, you guys are just, you just as gullible as any Christian or anybody. You Negroes that call yourself uh, a conscious and West African and comedic, you niggas is just as gullible as everybody else. You don't have, you don't see nothing. It's crazy to me. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm about to go on a rant, so let me just go ahead and end it. Hey, Leave your comments in the com comment boards. Make sure y'all subscribe to Maccabees TV. It's your brother, Priest. Dan, I've been quiet for a minute. I've been busy, but I'm back on it. <laughs> I say shalom.